Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm a spirit soul body health coach of wholeness and fullness, life coach, author, speaker, but most importantly, I'm head of her heels in love with Jesus. I'm passionate about helping people live a healthier, more fulfilling, purposeful life. So if you're interested in growing deeper with the Lord or spirit, soul, body, wholeness, and fullness, or simply how to make just little tweaks to your life and your everyday navigation through your days to position yourself to receive more of God's blessings, then I'd love for you to subscribe or follow along on our blog. And so you can learn more because that's exactly what I'm talking about. In this video, this is a choose life choice for your spirit. And of course we can't live compartmentalized. We um, live in wholeness and fullness. We must live in integration. So it's our spirit connected to our soul and body, but we must have it in that spiritual component. And so today's verse, Ephesians chapter one, verses three through 10. And so you can read this in a lot of versions, but most versions have at least five times that it talks about in Christ and, and, and that what happens if we are in Christ specifically, I want to fo focus on Ephesians 1, 3, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. And so, so many of us know that we have abundance that's available for us, but we lack the, the inability to connect to his Zoe life, which is his abundance, which is God's kind of life. It's called Zoe life. And you can just Google that. You'll see it so many times in the New Testament. That is the life, the John 10, 10, the life that Jesus came to offer us, came to bring. And in this Zoe life, we, yes, we have every spiritual blessing available to us. But the key is in Christ. And I just want to say like that, so many people want to connect to the fruitfulness of the Lord, to the kingdom, to all his blessings, to all of his abundance but they want to do it outside of him. And it doesn't work that way. Like the kingdom comes with the king, the, the blessings come with the blesser. Like it, it's a person. And so I just want to spend this video focusing on your part and your part is the surrender. If you surrender, if you surrender to his love and affection for you, if you surrender to his promises, his faithfulness, that he's a man of his word, that you will absolutely feel that alignment and that alignment is the positioning yourself for the blesser that, and the blessings come with him, for the giver and the gifts come with him, for the abundance and, and, and he is the life, but the life is in him, the fullness of life, the abundance of life is actually in the person, it's in him. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, the power of surrender. Let's see, I made a few notes of what would it look like to put ourselves fully in him, to willfully choose him. He is the choose life choice, choosing life, choosing him. And it is a joyful surrender. It reminds me of Galatians 2.20. It's I no longer live the life I live in the body. I live by the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So it's our part is the surrender. It's letting go of our thoughts, our emotions, our desires, our tenacity, our will, but instead letting him come into all those places and saturate us, every part of our soul, every part of our body. You've seen me with the illustration of the rings. And so, but this can, should be done from this place of generosity, a joyful surrender, a joyful offering, a joyful giving unto him. And so the question is, what would my life look like? This is for my personal journal. As I was really contemplating on surrender, like where I am in my story and can I surrender more? Or am I surrendering enough? Am I really connecting even with the fruitfulness, the gift of surrender? I feel like surrender is a gift. But what would my life look like if him come in every part of me, that, that he be my choice, that he be my guiding post, right? Eating from the modern day tree of life every time. And yeah, I would just, as I added a lot of number of things that it really summed down to, it would look more abundant. Every spiritual blessing, Ephesians 1, 3 is available to us, but it's in him. Matthew 5, if he shines, his light shines in us, people will see our lives and glorify our, our father in heaven. 
it is, it's all about him to think that he blessed us and it's all about us. We're going to miss it. We're going to, we're going to miss it. And so I want to encourage you to step in the fullness, to step in the abundance. It's basically saying less of you so that it can be more of him. But at the same time, he's coming through in your body, in your personality, in your skill set. He made you a specific way so for him to shine his glory and goodness and splendor through you. You are planted by him to reflect an oak tree of righteousness, Isaiah 30, 61 verse 3, to highlight him, to radiate him. The fruit of your tree is him. And so hide yourself in him. Let him shine through, expand his spirit that's one with your spirit, increase him. That is the key to tapping into the abundance. His word, his truth is all that matters because in the end, it's actually going to be the only thing that stands. And the choose life choice I'm offering you today is set aside some time, ask him, is there any part of me that I'm not surrendering to you? Is there, help me do that. I feel like I'm, perhaps you just need to just Cut it off that will, cut it off that, that your desires and just say, whatever you want, Lord, I trust you that you're good. You're for me. So you're sovereign. I trust you. Let go. Give it, surrender it all to him. And in the surrender, you will tap into every spiritual blessing. In the surrender, you will tap into the abundant John 10 Zoe life. And so that's the choose life choice I'm offering you today. We know there is a way that seems right to a man. Proverbs 14, 12 and 30, 12 and 16, 25 say so. But in the end, that way leads to death. So we are eating off a person, the modern day tree of life. John 14, 6, he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. And so when we connect to him, stay connected to him, we tap into everything. But absolutely, we live in the fruitfulness of the Holy Spirit. Much love, much joy, much peace. Patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And so choose like today, find freedom for you and your story. Move forward. Don't live stuck. Take territory because we know more than ever, now is the time. All right. Much love to you. Talk to you soon. 